Our team coverage continues tonight in Kuwaita as parents and students come to grips with this morning's tragedy. Tunis reporter Liz Bryant is also live where students are gathering for support and to remember Tristan. Yeah, you're right, Karen. Students are right now gathering here at Kowita's Assembly of God. The pastor describes this place as a safe place full of support and love. We aren't allowed inside just for that reason so that students can privately grieve this loss. Rachel McClanahan is visibly and understandably upset, leaving Kowita Intermediate High School today with her mom. I wish he hadn't done it because people are really going to miss him. He is more loved than he thought he was. Rachel heard the gunshot, mistaking it for someone dropping books. She was sitting in class right next to the bathroom where the suicide took place. It doesn't matter what they look like, what their abilities are. You always have to treat everyone the same way because you don't know what their lifestyle is or what they're going through at that point in life. A professional counselor tells me if your child has not heard about this tragedy, let them bring it up. If they do know, she suggests parents talking with their kids and letting them know the truth. The counselor tells me students shouldn't worry, calling this an isolated incident where an intruder wasn't on campus. The only thing that we want to do is be able to be here to support them and love them and let them know that we care. The counselor also says understand your child's fears and tell them their emotions are appropriate. If they aren't sleeping, eating, nor wanting to go back to school after a few days, they need to see a professional counselor. She called me crying and saying that she loved me and then no matter what happened, I'll always be there for you. You know I love you and you have so much support, but this is not the answer. You, it's not, it's not an answer for suicide for kids. It's too, they're too young. And a professional counselor is arriving at the junior high tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the morning. She suggests staying off all social media like Facebook and Twitter because that's where you see a lot of rumors about this incident and negativity and um, just people blaming others. Also, Kawita sports events are canceled this evening. Live tonight, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.